Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe to our channel for the Civil Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the Hooke's law, which is a basic for the strength of material subject. So, Hooke was basically a British physicist who developed this law in 17th century that the force is directly proportional to the deformation. Now, I would like to explain this law with the help of the example in order to understand it easily. Let's consider this is in spring attached to any fixed support and this spring is let's suppose of length 10 mm. And there is no load acting on this frame as we see the first stage of the frame. Now in the second stage there is a load acting on this frame let's suppose load of 10 newton. So it is before 10 millimeter when no load is acting. Here is no load on this frame, on this spring. But when there is a load of 10 newton acting on the second spring with the same magnitude of 10 millimeter, so there will be some deformation in this spring. So it will be increased in the length. So it will show some increase in the length. And let's suppose there is increase of 1 millimeter. Now, if you further increase the load on this frame, so it will show again some increase in the deformation. And let's suppose we apply the load of 20 Newton. So now it will show if this is the original line of the spring. So now it will show 2 millimeter, let's suppose, the deformation. So if you increase the load, deformation is also increasing proportionally. Before it was 10, so we have deformation of 1 millimeter. Now if you have load of 20 Newton, so we have deformation of 2 millimeter. Similarly, if we further increase the load to 30 Newton, let's suppose, so it will show 3 millimeter deformation if you apply the load of 30 Newton. So what the hook says, hook was a British physicist and it says that when the load is applied on any material having some elasticity then it will show the same deformation is proportional to the force applied so if this is the x and y graph the y axis it shows it, show, it shows the force and it shows the deformation here on the x axis so if there is no load so let's suppose this will be the point when there is no load acting on the material on this spring now when there is a load of 10 newton this is 10 newton so there is a deformation of 1 millimeter if you see here now load increased to 20 newton so the deformation also increases to 2 millimeter so this is the first point this is the second point similarly when load increased to 30 so if you load the increase to 30 newton here the deformation is let's suppose 3 millimeter So here, if I draw the point, it will look like this. If I join these points, so we have a straight line, which shows the linearity between the force and deformation. The more force is applied, the more this spring shows the deformation. So this law state that force is directly proportional to the deformation, or force is directly proportional to the x, where x is the deformation in the material. Now to remove this proportionality sign, we must have to apply a constant here. So this constant is K. And K is cause called the stiffness of the material. So if you want to find out the stiffness of the material, we can find out that K is equal to the F by X. The force divided by the deformation. The more force is required to produce less deformation, the more stiff will be the material and if less force is required to produce less deformation, so the less will be the stiffness of the material. So stiffness is basically the property of the material shows that how much force is applied in order to deform a material. So this was the basic concept of the hook law where the force is directly proportional to the deformation up to the elastic limit. It should be kept in mind that this relation is only valid in the elastic limit up to the elastic limit. After the elastic limit, this 
formula is not more valid in plastic deformation of the material. This formula is only valid in the elastic limit of the material. So this is the main point in this formula that it is only valid in the elastic limit of the material where after increase of the load, after the elastic limit, this material at this formula is no more valid. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.